I should like to see any power of the world destroy this race, this small tribe of unimportant people, whose wars have all been fought and lost, whose structures have crumbled, literature is unread, music is unheard, and prayers are no more answered. Go ahead, destroy Armenia. See if you can do it. Send them into the desert without bread or water. Burn their homes and churches. Then see if they will not laugh, sing, and pray again. For when two of them meet anywhere in the world, see if they will not create a new Armenia. Mom, yes, what does it mean to be Armenian to you? Armenian being means identity. Please elaborate. Being, that's how I was born and I chose to grow up with that identity that I, I um, adopted for myself and I wanna, I wanna continue. I am, I am a sandwich generation. That's how I, I consider myself. What's a myself. sandwich generation? My mother was born in, out of this country, and I was born in out of this country, of course. But I was grow up with different traditions, and my children were born in this country. Um, like to carry on the old tradition to the new one. I don't want to forget my past, but I want to enjoy my future, the environment that I am in, with all the goods and the bad. And also for the future, I want to carry on what I had in the past with the new. You know something amazing? We're one of the oldest civilizations in the world. First Christian nation, and we're a small group of people, and we're still around today. To me, that's amazing. And we're still thriving in this world. Even though we're small, we're just gonna come back strong. What does it mean to be Armenian? I'm descended from the peoples of Ararat. All the great art that was created there, all our monasteries, they're sublime. They're the living testament of the Armenian people. Our stone carving, there's nothing like it. And the way they um, uh, built all the churches and chapels, come on, the towering works of art that's still being studied today. If you and I put up a wall, it would look like nothing. Theirs is spectacular. My God, it's like a permanent song of such enduring worth. I'm an Armenian woman. I'm an Armenian apostolic Orthodox. Here, just the love between each other. Um, the way we treat each other is incredible. We treat everyone like family. We just love everyone. That's why I get all Hashtag Mazdurman Abur. Hashtag Mazdurman. Hashtag Telmani. Hashtag Slutrum. Hashtag Zaytun. Oh my god. Hashtag Wolki. Hashtag. I don't hashtags are there. Who are the Shuju? I already did so drop. Hashtag Hamas, hashtag Baba Ganush, hashtag Chikifte, hashtag Boreg, hashtag Choreg. With my Armenian kitchen, my Armenian Boreg has to be perfect. Perfect. What is your favorite Armenian food? That's like saying, which is your favorite Michael Jordan dunk or favorite Jay Z song? There just isn't one. I grilled my chicken. I baked my Boreg. I fried my airplane. We have to serve for army, even though it's like three, four people. You know what? Every Armenian table must have baklava. Baklava. And a cherry. And a cherry. Hashtag Dumbek. Hashtag Duff. Duduk. Hashtag Duduk.
beautiful dances and doing all the work. <laughs> William Soroyan. Yeah. Hashtag Bayou Sevag. Oh. Hashtag Hovanis no. Tumanyan. Hashtag Rubens Atalian. Hashtag Hovanis Chiraz. But the day. What are stereotypes of being Armenian? Okay. Um, we're very hairy, guys and girls. So that gets pretty complicated these days. Um, another stereotype is we're mistaken for terrorists a lot. Another one is uh, we're always incorporated with those bitches, the Kardashians. Hashtag, Hashtag Kim, Kim Kardashian. Kardashian. Hi, Inc. Hi, Inc. That's all I got. <laughs>